my house is starting to take shape I can start to see the house I get to live in the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for the joining us. If this is your first time here, Jesus make sure you subscribe. Right. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. I am a Holy Ghost worshiper. I wasn't always this way, but I am now. And some people would say well how did you get this way by doing the sayings of Jesus Matthew chapter 7 verse 24 therefore whosoever hears these sayings of mine and doeth them I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock verse 25 and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock say it, it. was founded, founded upon a rock he goes on verse 26 and everyone that hears these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell and great was the fall of it it was great <laughs> so what could we say the rock was see most people go oh, Jesus is the rock no doing the sayings of Jesus is like building your house on a rock so the rock would be doing the sayings of Jesus now obviously this would apply to someone building a natural house but we're really talking about a spiritual house you understand that mm -hmm. so the rock that we're building this spiritual house on are you still here the rock that we're building this spiritual house upon is doing the sayings of Jesus not just hearing them but doing some would criticize me for calling myself a Holy Ghost worshiper that's what I call myself I'm a Holy Ghost worshiper I didn't just invent something Jesus got me here or rather doing the sayings of Jesus got me here John 4 24 says God is a spirit and they that worship him Jesus said that God is a spirit and they that worship him who is this God that's a spirit that's in the earth today the Holy Ghost they that worship him I am a they that worship him how did I get here doing the sayings of Jesus which is a sure foundation the surest of all foundations built upon the rock of actually doing how did I become a Holy Ghost worshiper I began doing the sayings of Jesus Jesus said God is a spirit and they that worship him if I did that who would I worship God the Spirit the Spirit God the Holy Ghost are you here can you see how I got here by doing the sayings of Jesus and what did Jesus say he said I'm a wise man who built my house spiritual house upon a rock mm -hmm. so if we're going to do that can you see that Did we are we are we here can we see that the rock is doing the sayings of Jesus I'm just hearing them he said that you could hear these sayings and don't do them but if you hear the sayings and do them you will have built your spiritual house upon a rock that's not shakable mm -hmm. so let's look at some of the words of Jesus 
that we can do mm -hmm. to build our spiritual house on is this okay yeah. see now if you look through Matthew right you look at chapter 1 and you look at chapter 2 and then and then you look at chapter 3 you see that mm -hmm. see how we're looking at those yep. and then um, all of a sudden in like the second half of chapter 3 we see some red letters yeah. you see that mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you think that is Jesus talking right if you have a red letter edition right yeah. so let's just see this we could say it would be people would argue about this but please I'm trying to make a point these could be some of the first words of Jesus so if we took those words of Jesus and we began where would you begin with the first words right mm -hmm. we're taking the first words of Jesus and we're going to begin to lay a foundation upon doing the sayings of Jesus Matthew chapter 3 verse 1 and in those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea verse 2 and saying repent ye for the kingdom of heaven is at hand you see what's going on mm -hmm. John the Baptist is out there preaching go down to verse 13 then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him verse 14 but John forbade him saying I have need to be baptized of thee and comest thou to me verse 15 and Jesus answering said unto him here we go mm -hmm. you ready for this mm -hmm. suffer it to be so now for thus it becomes us to fulfill all righteousness and then he suffered him so here you have the first words of Jesus that we have at least in Matthew suffer it to be now to fulfill all righteousness say to fulfill, to fulfill all, righteousness. all righteousness so if we begin to fulfill all righteousness what are we gonna be doing we're gonna be starting to lay a foundation on doing the sayings of Jesus mm -hmm. okay and then it goes on here verse 16 and we'll see what happened and Jesus when he was baptized so he got baptized by John mm -hmm. went up straightway out of the water and lo the heavens were opened what was opened heaven. Jesus's head mm -hmm. Jesus's chest and out of him came something yeah. no the heavens and lo the heavens were opened unto him and he saw the Spirit of God or literally the Spirit God descending like a dove and lighting upon him he didn't come down in the form of a dove he came down like a dove descending like a dove is describing the descent the way he came down like a bird might come down I'm assuming that he just had his his arms out like this and just came down and lighted upon him and verse 17 and lo a voice from heaven saying this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased so here we have the three persons of the Godhead we have Jesus on earth being baptized fulfilling all righteousness mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost coming out of heaven and now abiding on say abiding, abiding. on Jesus, on Jesus. And where's the father in heaven. still in heaven that's where the voice came from are you here yes and then here we have Jesus from that point on being led by the Spirit because the Spirit came out of heaven and is now abiding on Jesus and he began to walk with the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. who was God look at uh, Matthew chapter 4 and verse 1 then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness so who was Jesus now led by spirit. the Spirit it didn't say that before it didn't say Jesus was led by the Spirit before now Jesus is being led by who the Spirit 
led by the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil and when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights he was afterward a hungered i guess so verse 3 and when the tempter came to him he said if thou be the son of god command that these stones be made bread verse 4 but he answered and said now what do we have now more red letters now we have first we had jesus saying you must fulfill all righteousness mm -hmm. now we have more words of jesus of which if we do the sayings of jesus we will build our house upon an unshakable rock are you here mm -hmm. verse 4 but he answered and said it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of god what does words that proceed out of mean spoken man shall live by the spoken word of god say man, man. shall live, shall live. By, the by the spoken word of god, word of god. The spoken word means speaking the word mm -hmm. so man shall live by speaking the word of god can you get this is this too far of a jump for you how are you gonna live by speaking the word of god this is how your life will look your life will look like this man shall live building that spiritual house upon a rock doing the sayings of jesus if you are doing this saying of jesus you will be living and your living will be by speaking in agreement with the word of god how'd you get here where you know you believe that the holy ghost is god in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words jesus mm -hmm. jesus with the holy ghost on him first words out his mouth you live by speaking God's Word well I don't like it that way well then you don't like it the way Jesus told you to like it mm -hmm. I like it is this okay yes. mm -hmm. I'm trying to be methodical here you're gonna live mm -hmm. by the spoken Word of God which means there must be life in those words say there must be, there must be. Life, life in those words if I'm going to speak them and live by them mm -hmm. in fact every word of God has the ability to bring itself to pass in your life if you will speak it think about a seed the seed has within itself to reproduce that thing that was in the seed yeah. it's not going to produce something else that word that you speak will produce the thing said and we live by it so healing is in the spoken healing words of God prosperity is in the spoken prosperity words of God mm. and we're building our house our spiritual house by doing the saying yeah. say by doing, by doing. The, saying. the saying Jesus said you live this way by doing the saying Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11 so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth there's those strange words again mm -hmm. go forth out of his mouth what is that okay. spoken word so shall my spoken words be get it so shall my spoken words be it shall not return to me void but it my spoken words mm -hmm. shall accomplish that which i please and it my spoken words shall prosper in the thing whereunto i sent it what shall accomplish mm -hmm. his spoken words what shall prosper mm -hmm. his spoken words jesus said man shall not live by bread alone but by every spoken word of god are you getting this well here my house is starting to take shape I can start to see the house I get to live in mm -hmm. Psalms 107 20 says he sent his word 
and healed me and delivered me from my destructions yeah. it's part of my house I get to live in there's life in that what is actually in Psalms 107 20 he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction healing and deliverance from all of your destructions Psalms 112 verse 3 wealth and riches shall be in his house say in his house. in his house his righteousness endures forever Jesus began by saying we must fulfill all righteousness and here it says wealth and riches shall be in your house yeah. by speaking these words your house begins to take shape we're talking about doing the sayings of Jesus and building our life on a rock that can't be shaken yeah. people are people ask well why why aren't you shaken over this doing the sayings of Jesus brought me here so first we had Jesus we're talking about doing the sayings of Jesus and he said you must fill all righteousness right mm -hmm. and then he said it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every spoken word of God that's how we get to live mm -hmm. you got a problem with us nope. Luke chapter 4 verse 8 it is written thou shalt worship say worship, worship. the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve the Holy Ghost came on Jesus when he was baptized came out of the water and he said you have to live by speaking the Word of God right mm -hmm. and then he said thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve are you getting this yes. doing the sayings of Jesus building our spiritual house upon a rock of the things Jesus said and then doing them yeah you understand that there's mm -hmm. things he said mm -hmm. and then we do them that's the rock mm -hmm. so right after the Holy Ghost came down Jesus said you had to speak in agreement with the Holy Ghost and then you have to worship the Lord your God now did Jesus know that the Holy Ghost was God yes. did Jesus know the Holy Ghost as God yes came out of heaven mm -hmm. now in the earth with Jesus mm -hmm. and in verse 1 Luke chapter 4 verse 1 it says and Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit mm -hmm. so he start he's being led by the Spirit yes. which means he's following the Spirit mm -hmm. Luke chapter 4 verse 14 and Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit so he's following the Spirit the Spirit's leading him he's following the Spirit and now he's returning in the power of the Spirit look at verse 18 the Spirit of the Lord is upon me we know that right when did the Spirit Lord come upon Jesus when he got baptized the Spirit Lord is on me literally that's what it says the Spirit Lord mm -hmm. is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach who anointed Jesus to preach the Spirit Lord the Holy Ghost and here we have Jesus calling the Holy Ghost Lord yes. say Jesus, Jesus called, called the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost Lord. Lord was Jesus following the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost led him into the wilderness did Jesus follow the Holy Ghost out into the wilderness mm -hmm. yes yeah, so Jesus is following the Holy Ghost <laughs> yes. was Jesus obeying the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. certainly seems like it right <laughs> was Jesus serving the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. yes. the answer is yes Jesus was following the Holy Ghost Jesus was obeying the Holy Ghost Jesus was serving the Holy Ghost yeah. this isn't too difficult is it so let's go back to verse 8 and read that again thou shalt worship 
the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve now who do we say that Jesus called Lord Holy Ghost. he said the Spirit Lord is on me so he called the Spirit Lord you already said we that he knew the Holy Ghost as God thou shalt worship the Lord thy God are you here mm -hmm. and him only shalt thou serve who is Jesus serving the Holy Ghost the Lord his God and here he says to worship the Lord your God and him only serving mm -hmm. worship and service of the Lord your God the Holy Ghost I'm talking about doing the sayings of Jesus Jesus said that you must worship the Lord your God and him only serve mm -hmm. what if we do that mm. we will end up building our spiritual house upon a rock that can't be shaken I got here by doing the sayings of Jesus mm -hmm. I worship you Holy Ghost only and speaking in agreement with his word I got here by doing the sayings of Jesus mm -hmm. And if you did Luke chapter 4 verse 4 live by the spoken word of God right and if you did Luke chapter 4 verse 8 worship the Lord your God and him only serve you would be on pretty sound ground my friend James said in James 2 verse 18 he said I'll show you my religion by what I do the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words speaking in agreement with his word can you see how I got here by doing the sayings of Jesus mm -hmm. this is my house this is the house I live in and I invite you in and there is a storm outside much of which is brought on by you being a pilot you have the tendency to want to fight with the airplane and make adjustments mm -hmm. wing tips a little this way I oh, want to make an adjustment you tip it that way you make an adjustment well you end up chasing the instruments is what they call it and you end up making it worse mm -hmm. and so a lot of the turbulence going on was a function of you you added to it so you have to take your hands off and we would practice that mm -hmm. very unnerving mm -hmm. take your hands off but invariably the plane would calm down you'd stop it would stop doing those things that you were actually making it do you didn't even know it Jesus said this house built upon that rock doing his sayings was designed to handle the storm how did I get here doing the sayings of Jesus mm -hmm. worshiping the Holy Ghost and speaking in agreement with his word are you getting this mm -hmm. and this is your destiny if you are with me in this room and don't turn back fulfilling all righteousness remember how we began this fulfilling all righteousness Psalms 112.3 said wealth and riches shall be in your house but I'm called to go there and that's where I'm going and I'm called to take you with me Holy Ghost I thank you for blessing these people opening their ears so they can hear what you were saying to them this evening and they shall know a new grace to be able to move upward and onward yea even with you in this room of Holy Ghost worship and things shall become completely different and ways shall open up unto them that they had longed for for years it shall all of a sudden say lo here I am and you'll walk into it thank you Holy Ghost for it in Jesus name Amen, amen.
if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost you are the Spirit God, Lord the Spirit I thank you that your glory, your glory is beginning, is beginning to, cover earth, to cover the earth and you're using me as your temple to do it in Jesus name amen God.